supposed to. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Uh, do you know where my old tripod is? Because that has the yeah, it's over there. connector. Where? It's in the, it's in the nook. It is? Yep. Should we try to move? Oh, that one doesn't go very well. Though. Low? Hi guys. I just started my period. You did? Yep. Oh. Well, I think it is. It's really dark. Like a dark, dark brown. Because my nose just got blood. Shh, shh, Yeah, she's late. Breakups suck, don't they? We broke up once for like two hours. Remember, I was feeling guilty. We broke up via text. We just couldn't stay away from each other. <laughs> so, hi guys, welcome to tonight's live. I'm glad the other one saved last time. I really thought it was going to save. I'm so glad it did because it was a really good live stream. I'm loving going live on here every night. It's perfect because I am so sick and so I don't have any energy to make and edit and upload videos. And I also love going live every day. So this just works out perfectly. So I told Danny the plan last night. We're just going to sit back and let YouTube do its thing and see what happens. Until then, we're just going to hang out and be together. We get to know each other better. Okay. Yeah, I know it is, but it wasn't showing up last night. Like, I went to look for it and it wasn't in my feed, so I was worried that they deleted it or something.
but Maggie texts me while I'm on the toilet, and she told me some news. Can I tell him right now, Maggie? Can I tell him right now? I'm going to. So she texts me this picture. So she concerned? Maybe. You're gonna let me tell him? Oh, I get to tell him. Okay. Ready? You ready for this? Wait, I'm sorry, what? Pregnancy tests both are positive. Look, I'm gonna read this. You want me to read it to you? I said, you're pregnant, and she gave this emoji, and this emoji, and I was like, what? And she's like, I have a boyfriend too, and I was like, I knew it, and she said, you did? How? And I said, I'm psychic, when are you due? Wait, are you being serious? I can't tell. October. Tell me for real. It's October 24th. Yes. Did Eric steal your phone or something? Don't tell Danny yet. Uh, Eric? No. I'm calling BS. BS? Who's that? Bullshit, Eric. It's not Eric. Who is it then? It's me. Me who? I'm gonna bark if you don't come clean here. Maggie. Lies. It is. It's not Eric. Dad, Mom, Gretchen, Eric, Kendall, Annie, Jenny, Derek, some random friend I didn't know. Are you drunk, Max? No? Okay, so then can I tell the Instagram? What? <coughs> Booyah, only Maggie knows who that is. Tell them I'm pregnant? I will, right now. On Instagram? Yes, really? They'd want to know. Yes, really. How? How? They love Maggie. On my story, I'll tag Max. Last chance to own up because I'm actually going to do it. We pranked you! Ha ha ha! For a second, did you not start? Because this isn't Maggie! Maggie doesn't do this. Maggie doesn't prank some, people. <laughs> some poor dude out there was about to die tonight. That's what was going to happen. Maggie doesn't prank people. I so was about I was to call like, sister up and say, hey, who the heck and what the heck and yeah. where does he live because he's going to die. Because I was like, well, Eric doesn't stay up this late. He's the only person that would do this. And I'm like, what? So for a second, I was so good. So good job, Max. You got, you got me and look at that. You got him too. Well done. Well done. Maggie's not pregnant, for the record, but she almost had me convinced, I'm not going to lie. Okay, so what should we see? <laughs> um, oh, look, people are congratulating you, Maggie. I even congratulated, congratulated her at one point. This is YouTube. Good, Paul. Good job. Everyone go to Paul's Instagram and look at his before and after. Have you seen it yet? Yeah, I saw it. I'll just show everyone here. Hottie Patati! He worked very, very hard for it. And I'm very proud of him. He worked really hard. Here's Paul. Before and after. He looks like a complete... No. I don't know. He looks like a completely different person, but he's still, he's still Paul to me. What do you think? That's crazy. You look amazing, and I'm proud of you. Good job. He worked hard, guys. I wish I had discipline like that. So are you going to stay on Octavia now? Or Octavia, however you pronounce it? Or now that you've reached your goal what's your plan now is this like a new lifestyle um yeah you look great we're really proud of you you work really hard okay what would you guys like us to sing we can sing answer questions we can sing and answer questions at the same time what would you guys like us to sing this city looks sick Looks huh? ill in the after effect. <laughs> in the after Who said one. that? Is. Where? Paul looks ill in the after. Yeah, he's. Yeah, he doesn't feel sick. So. Over the rainbow. So. If 
Paul was sick, if Paul was ill, he would stop. He's the most, no offense, Paul, paranoid health person in the world. He's very paranoid about health problems, so if he felt sick at all, he would have stopped. worried too because he was losing so fast um but he's okay he's good trust me i wouldn't have let him continue if i thought that it was bad like he has really worked hard and he feels really good and also realize guys shed weight faster and easier than women faster. do so we can we can but for the really record shed. paul was gorgeous before he was right. He's gorgeous now. He's alright. He was now. gorgeous before. Just for the record. I liked your pudgy, pudge, pudge, little bit of tiny bit of pudge that you had. But I also love this Paul. I just love you no matter what. What's happening? I'm just playing the, the notes. Your feeling is better, yeah, and that's what matters. For sure, it is. I agree. Uh, we've never done this all the way through together. We've just been practicing, so we haven't like practiced which parts and stuff. So if you, when we're both singing together, if you guys want perfect, you can go see yeah. the movie. No matter what, if we're singing together at the same time, you keep taking the melody. You know what that means? Yes. Just do your part, and then when we both sing, if I join in with you, you just keep singing the melody, even if it's not my turn. Okay. All you have to do is sing the melody, except when it's my solo. Oh. Mm -hmm. In all the good times I find myself 
First time we've sung that together, so the sorry. First time. Like we've tried. I'm not sorry. Yeah, it's, it, yeah. you're right. Nothing to be sorry for. Okay. Um, can we please record an album? Mm, yes. But no. I mean, yes. How much would you pay for an album? A Danny Shami album. It would be in like that 75 cent pile in the record store where like nobody's ever gonna buy it. And they'll look at it and be like, oh, it's 75 cents, so I guess I'll try it, but it's just going to go with that. That's what our album would be called. It says 15 bucks. 75 cents. You pay 15 bucks for an album? <gasps> I look like Bradley Cooper. We'll see. I'll take that. Country Road. Country Road. Ooh, that's a good one. Take me home to the place of love. I don't know why, but I just noticed Danny looks like Bradley Cooper right now. He kind of does a little. When I was Virginia. Who did I say you look like today? Uh, that dude on World War Z. Yeah, the... the um, One of the soldier guys. The soldier guy like, shoots himself because he knows he's about to be a zombie. He looks a lot like Danny. You know who else looks like Danny? In my opinion, turn to the side, will you? Especially to the side. Oh, well, it's harder because, you know, when he doesn't have a beard, it's, it's better. But if you've ever, girls, if you've ever seen the movie Never Been Kissed, he looks like the, the guy, the romantic lead guy, the teacher. And I look like Drew Barrymore, so. so I think he's also, in, what else is he on? He's on that one with Jennifer Garner. He's, a, he's or, on a lot of stuff. Anyway. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm looking up country roads. Oh, okay. I'll answer some questions while Danny looks it up and practices. He does, right, Paige? And I look like Drew Barrymore. Maybe not right now, but people tell me that all the time.
why that one too. That's it. I fuck you. I fuck you lots of them. commenting. You've got to keep it going. Nobody looks rubbish compared to me, but thank you. You're so feel fair. This live stream is brought to you by Dr. Pepper today. Dr. Pepper Company, if you'd like Liver to... failure for Danny. Dr. Pepper, if you'd like to sponsor us, that'd be awesome. They really could sponsor you. They should sponsor me. Whatever, Dr. Pepper, I'll just keep drinking it for free, I guess. Like, I don't, like, they don't have to charge. I'll, I'll, they'll charge me. I'll pay them. Then how's that free? Because it's free to them. Like, I'm paying them. Today and every day with Danny. <laughs> True that. Yeah. Every waking moment. A lot of you probably wake up to the sound of the smell of your parents making coffee. I wake up to the sound of... Me too. Your hair okay. Are we doing common karaoke? For those that are new, um, except... Oh, one person wants to do it. Oh, two people do. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> Comedy karaoke is something we made up in the Insta fam a long, long time ago. And it's our favorite game to play. Basically, you send in comments, whatever you want to say, the funnier, the better, the weirder, the better. Um, and then on the spot, we make up a song with your comments. So it's kind of hard for me because 
I have to like think really fast to see which comment is gonna fit where in the song. So sometimes I just end up like reading them as they go. Sometimes I can make them rhyme. But the way that you win comment karaoke is that you make either Danny or myself, wait, Danny or myself, <laughs> laugh so hard that we can't sing or play anymore. So if he can't play anymore because he's laughing so hard, or if I can't sing, then that's how you win. So you can say whatever you want, make it as inappropriate as you want. I will be bleeping the swear words, you can say them, but I'll have to change them because this is YouTube, not Instagram. Um, but you're welcome to say whatever you want and I'll filter what I feel like I, ha I need to for YouTube. So are we ready? And we always do, um, we always do creep because it's the easiest for both of us. All right, are we ready? Um, do you know what, Chloe? I wish I could message you privately, um, but I kind of have to stop doing that with a couple exceptions here and there. Um, just cause like I get messages every day, like hundreds a day of people wanting to, to be like best friends with me. And, and, um, I just don't feel it's fair to like pick and choose. And so I just kind of have to say no to everybody. But what's cool about this community is I can say rainbow hearts for Chloe. And if someone puts rainbow hearts here, Chloe, screenshot their name, message them later. Cause rainbow hearts means I'm available to talk and I would love to talk. And I trust all of the people in this community to do the same thing that I would do and to treat you the same way that I would treat you. So, yeah. So, rainbow hearts for Chloe. I'm sorry you're going through this, my dear. You don't deserve it. Okay. Um, oh, Hannah just told you all that. I didn't see that. Good job. Thanks, Hannah. <laughs> um, okay. Are we even going to do this? Because this isn't going to work unless you keep commenting over and over. Are we all in? Look at all the rainbow hearts. Look at that. start sending them in. We can't start until we have some funny comments or whatever you want to say. I'm ready. Are you ready? I need a few to get me started. And then keep them coming. Even if you just typed one, hurry and type another one. Kitty cats are the most adorable pets, I believe. Santa is here, eating a bee's chirper. Oh, I get it. <laughs> I stained my favorite sweater.
Thin Mint Almonds? That's something you would love. I guess so. You love chocolate milk. <clears throat> I just ate the pokey. Is that what that's called? The pokey. Robin. There you go. Right? on her hair and make crazy shapes. I will do that, but not on this video. That's a great idea. Okay. Do we want one more? Or now that we all know how to play. So let's do another one, guys. Come on. You can make us laugh so hard. Usually Tiffany wins, but I don't think she's here tonight. So you're all out of chance. Yeah. So you guys all have an opening here. So are we ready for round two? You were doing good, Max. Keep it going. Just say whatever's on, say the most random thing in the world. It do, doesn't need to make sense. If it makes sense, if it doesn't make sense, that's even better. You won? Okay, sorry, sorry, won. who else won? I forget. Sometimes you do win, that's true. Sometimes a lot of you win, but most of the time Tiffany wins, but she's not here, so. All right, here we go, ready? Okay, start sending them in. <laughs> so Haley and Sari one. Am I saying your name, name right? Sari? Sari? I never remember anything. Okay. Alright. Are we ready? Okay. Do you know who I am? My old phone actually did get flushed down the toilet. You go live. I broke my answer. I'm ready to go. My guinea pig tried to eat my hair. Hi, Shanny. Hi.
Sorry, that was from Paul and I pictured it. Oh no, I pictured it. If I would have pictured it. Oh no, ew. Okay, Paul wins for me, for me. No one's made Danny laugh yet. Ugh. Sorry, Paul, I love you, but. Just cause I have a feeling he's really hairy. <laughs> he's a hairy dude. What do you do, you gonna check right now? No, wait, later. We'll, we'll check it later. You don't care in your butt, right? Everybody does. No, you don't. I don't. Every guy does. Does everybody have hair in their butt crack? <sighs> okay. Danny still hasn't laughed yet, guys. Bring it. Operation Get Danny. Here we go. grossest things in the world, it will make him laugh. What else makes him laugh? Do I get to participate in this? Or do I have to do their comments? If it's fair. I'm not reading the comments. I can barely read the comments anyway. They go, they go too by, they go fast. Too fast by on the screen. Wow, can't talk. All right, guys, we can do it. We can do it. Are we ready? laugh right away. I can feel it. Okay. Guys, if you want me to win,
Do sexual stuff that makes him laugh. Do sexual stuff. Family, if you're watching, stop laughing. Stop watching from here on out. Do some sweater words too. Okay, ready? I caught I oh we already did that one. Hold on. Oh, Maggie, plug your ears. This is about to get inappropriate. You've been warned. Alright, here we go. Come on guys, send them in. Okay. Probably you don't have to leave. No, don't leave. It won't be that inappropriate. No, no more than what you've seen on me on Instagram. I'll still bleep out bad words. Okay, I can't promise this will be appropriate. But guess what? It's just life. Talking about sex is life. Yeah, you don't care, Max. Come on. Okay, here we go. Is Hannah okay? Jenny works with fighting foley's. It's a foley. I'm not sure what to expect on your website to see you tomorrow. Hello, farts smell like pop drops.
Some of the verse, oh. yeah, some of the little part like. Too, Hayden. I think Hayden's the ultimate because she made both of us laugh with one joke. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Well done, girlfriend. Okay, ask us a few questions and we're gonna go. Question time. And I'm gonna grab an apple. Love you. a costume job for a director friend of mine. It's awesome. It's pretty cool. I would show you, but it's a little... It's a bad guy costume. And... They murdered my ancestors. It's the, I mean, they murdered a lot of ancestors, so... It's, but Hitler himself murdered my ancestors. Well, I'm sure he wasn't Hitler himself. Because yeah, he was. actually never went to the things. It was his SS guys. It's a Nazi thing for a... It's actually pretty cool. Not the Nazi part, though. Do you guys remember the Rocketeer movie? Where the guy has a rocket pack on strapped to him? Um, so we want to do, somebody wants to do, a, uh, a Nazi version, basically, of the Rocketeer, bad Nazi, so they can fight the Spitfighter, which was the, which was the um, British plane back in World War II. And the CG guys just want to basically have this little air battle with the whole thing. But they needed a, a costume to put on the guy so we can put him on the green screen and fly him around and then digitally imprint him onto the onto the screen. So it's really it'll be really pretty cool. cool. Maybe I'll post a picture of it later on Instagram or something. How did you know that you were the one for each other? You let you answer. How did I know that she was because the one? Because I for didn't me? know until long after we were married. That's but true. He did. Just gonna tell them. <clears throat> How did I know? Um, two ways that I knew. One, the very first time I saw her, she was with another guy, of course. Um, there was something in her eyes, something about her spirit, the way she glowed, the whole deal, and it was like, oh my gosh, this girl was crazy cool and awesome, and. Deep down, I'm like, yep, yeah, that's that's mine. She's the one for me. And then the second way, of course, I knew was I asked uh, Heavenly Father if she could be my wife, and he said yes. So that was pretty good, though. Was that satisfying for us? Yeah, we kind of both prayed about it together, but separately, so we were in my bedroom, and I was having trouble with it because he dated my sister, and. She really didn't care that much, but I still felt bad. So I was like, we should pray about it. So he went to a different room and prayed. I prayed in my room. I didn't get an answer. But he came back and he was like, we're supposed to be together. I didn't know until... The temple? <laughs> the temple. Yeah. Right when we were about to be married, that's when I knew, and I felt our kids in there with us. Um, 
Peppers and mayonnaise? He dips artichokes in mayonnaise. What's wrong with that? Holy crap. When are you next going somewhere cool? Your sister wants to know. Uh, I am going to Idaho this week to film something for a couple days. Then we're going back to Fiji in, in the spring, I guess, is the plan, I think, for the guys. And if it goes for as long as I'm thinking of we're going, I'm bringing Shannon. What is that? Mark Fish. Why do you hate it? It's your problem, Hannah. Let's go in the parking lot. All right, I guess ask me a couple questions. Do frogs like M&Ms? Did you know that frogs use their eyes to push their food down their throat? Danny probably knew that. Danny knows everything about animals. Is a frog an animal though? Or is that an insect? Or is it a pedophile? Or not pedophile. Amphibian, that's what I meant. I'm sure some frogs are pedophiles. I think all animals are pedophiles, technically. Because they all have sex with brand new girls and get them pregnant right away. This is getting weird. Okay, let's move on. Okay, ask me a couple questions because as soon as I'm done with this, I'm leaving. So, you guys are like, okay, fine, leave right now. Nobody <laughs> cares. Have you been following the Leah Marie Johnson situation? No, but I love following situations. So what's going on? Who is that? Sum it up for me. I'm looking for a new story to be obsessed with. I just finished, um, I've been obsessed with the Chris Watts story. I just get fascinated with people and why they do terrible things. I don't know why. of all life. Oh, is she like a YouTuber? Wait, who is she? Someone explain. I don't know who this is. This is a really good apple, by the way. She has a situation to follow. What's her name? Where do I follow her?
Used to be on that one. T is reacting and she's on drugs or something. Okay. Her 67 year old producer was groping Leah Marie Johnson, age 23, on Insta Live when she was clearly drunk or high. What? Hold on. Are they just worried because she's on drugs and doing stupid things, or? What did you do, Maggie? No, it was hilarious. I'm just proud of you because I didn't know you had it in you to prank me like that, Mags. It's hilarious. Don't feel bad at all. It was so fun. Leah Marie Johnson is in trouble. Maybe this is... Really, thank you for listening to my music. 
but how old is she? Out of here with like that whole attitude that you have towards life. And I just felt really sad for her, and things were really pulling at my heartstrings. So more recently, you guys, she has really come up. A lot of people are scared for her. Even Drama Alert has tweeted some things about her. This is a very sensitive topic. Why are we scared of? Drama Alert tried to talk about it in this video. In this video, you got. Uh, to monetize, which means the word isn't going to be A said. lot of kids do drugs and drink. Are you saying that you don't think she has a problem with it? Like she's an addict? Or... Like, I don't know her normally, so what are people worried about? Is it just weird that she's... Is she, like, always drunk or high now? Or... Right, so I am censoring this video a whole lot because I want the message to get out there that we need to be aware and we need to be alert about things that are going on for her. At least we're going to know that she has this internet support system that cares and wants her to be okay at the end of the day. That's sweet. So she got on Instagram Live and she seemed to be like she was in a studio, like a record studio, and she was just kind of drinking this drink and someone in the background was saying are you on instagram live and she was like oh haha ha, yeah like i am and they were like you can't be on instagram like we you can't be on instagram you need to get off of instagram and she said oh yeah haha ha, like you're right and like somebody takes the phone and okay the live stream ends and she gets back on instagram live and says you know that she's okay she hates the cops uh she just goes off because i guess the cop had come to wherever she was to do a welfare check on her to make sure she was okay and she was like in handcuffs for a little bit and she just didn't want any of this to ever happen should i try and find a better screen recording because you can't even see her in this is this the right live that you guys are talking about here let's try this Uh, live abuse, maybe? No? Live mental breakdown comes up. Drugs. Live stream. Ow. That was weird. How did that even happen? Tell me which live to look for. One that has a filter on it resembling fireworks. Do you know what it's called? If you can tell me exactly what it's called, that would help too. So I'm gonna go find it and tell me what it is. We'll watch it. So was I watching the right one? Wait, which one was I watching? That sounds really scary though. Is she in danger? Like Okay. Let's just watch this and see. Not in a good state of mind. Many people thought she was drunk or high because of her odd behavior. So it's not like her to drink? Obviously she's drunk or something. But a lot of people do that.
There was a man in the room with her, okay? Okay, yeah, that does suck. Okay. So it says Leah Leah was kissing this man and he was rubbing on her and touching her. could be seen kind of pulling away from him, but he wanted more from her. And many people were pointing out how Leah was clearly drunk or high. When the man was not. To further prove on Leah's odd behavior, she can be seen drinking wine. She said, I think I need more wine, which means she already drank some. It's very likely that she was drunk. I'm so confused. The next weird thing is how the man reacts when he finds out that Leah is live on Instagram. <laughs> sounded nervous when Leah revealed she was on Instagram and he told Leah that she couldn't be on Instagram so obviously he has something to hide the next weird thing was that Leah lied about being on Instagram live in the last clip Leah wasn't really, really paying attention this goes too fast for me. In the last clip, Leah wasn't really paying attention when he asked about it, and she said totally. But later on, she starts to lie about it. Um, and she seems to get flustered trying to make up an excuse. seemed to be scared to tell him the truth and then he said it would be bad if she was on Instagram live then she ended the live abruptly she went back online again 
She went back on the live again and weird things were still happening. The man ended up revealing his face and that's when everything got worse. Uh oh. So to heck with that. Now we're going back to us. I'm hijacking your phone for Showed his face and his identity was revealed. His name is Stephen Weatherby and he's an old man. He's a photographer and producer. People assume that he was Leah's producer because he typically works with young girls and produces with them. How old is she again? She's she's an adult, right? I mean that doesn't make it okay, I'm just wondering. Here's a clip of him saying how him being on live could ruin his work. Ooh, okay. 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 You know what? Fuck all of you. Do not send the fucking police for my fucking address. No. These people are so right here are the ones that are most fucked up. Did you hear what he said? Fucked up. Leah, I need this to not go out. It, this will affect my work. Oh, that's weird. Hmm. He begged her to turn off the live because of his work. He knows beforehand Leah was begging people not to call the police. Yeah, that was weird. People actually did call the police, and police showed up and handled Leah somehow. Please, Leah went live afterwards. Please, please. Stop calling. Please, please, please. Stop calling. Please leave me alone. Because all I want to do is be in love with someone. And that's all I want. So, can everyone please leave me alone? The cops showed up and detained me and put cuffs on my hands. Why? So, I would really appreciate if everyone just took a second to connect to themselves and, and, and stop. Yeah, that's what I was wondering, Holly, too. Worrying so much. There's no reason to worry. Like, if she were under 18, it would be a little bit different, but this is still weird. This is still kind of creepy. But she's an adult. <laughs> right? He's promising her something for her soul. I'm okay. And she mentioned worry that she oh. so much. There's no reason to worry. I'm okay. Leah still seemed off during that live stream. And she mentioned that she was in love with Steven. And that's all it was. Okay, uh, but that seemed like Stephen talking, taking advantage of Leah while she was under the influence. Okay, yeah, that would be concerning if that's true. Um, and it was also very weird that he wouldn't let her live stream. He said it would be bad if she was on Instagram. That was weird. Leah also seemed intimidated by him in many parts of the live stream. Am I saying her name right? Is it Leah or Laya? Here are some reactions. Can we please stop canceling YouTubers on, and instead get Leah Marie Johnson the help she needs? She's not okay at all. Okay, so they're showing examples of people being worried. I mean, if anybody takes advantage of anybody while they're intoxicated, then that's not a good thing, whether or not she's a child or not. So, like, I can see why people would be worried. Am I pronouncing, is it Leah? Okay. Okay. I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm getting tired, but I kind of want to... Now I'm, like, sucked into this. I need to know. Hmm. 
Has she like responded or anything besides that? Girls apparently friends with her. Or friends was. with her. And a lot of people they message me like, Are you still friends with her? What is happening? Like, why don't you reach out to her? I just found out about all of this like a few days ago. And the whole internet. I'm gonna pause and go back and read all of your comments now. Hold on. She's being controlled. She started the life normal, then changed. This isn't her normal, okay? And she went live for many hours on that weird one. Um, in one love, she was talking about drugs, then opening a pill bottle of some sort in a really odd situation. On live, you meant, yeah. Um, the lives aren't up, but people have to get recorded. I found on YouTube. She's 23. People are worried that her producer is influencing her among a couple of these. It's not for sure. Um, her producer was upset. She was streaming, and he said he was hijacking her phone and that he could get in trouble if she posted it. Yeah. So, yeah, I agree, Haley. I'm sad to hear all the drugs that take famous people. I'm going to play devil's advocate here. When I messed up and tried to get on Instagram or text people, or text people and my husband says stuff like, like that, like you shouldn't do that, or like you're too messed up for this, yeah. And I can see that being true too. I mean, he's creepy, but she seems like a willing participant.
I'm doing good with my Ed. No behaviors today or yesterday. So, I've got two, three days now under my belt or two. boyfriend pointed out her drug use and left her um, if he was messing with her then she's not the first others would have reported him by now in today's world that is I think anyway she might have been ground groomed since she started YouTube at 13 This video shows Leah talks about making fun of suicide. What video shows that? That's not cool. Um, I think she was groomed by Holly Weird <laughs> since her antiques. It happens a lot. Lots of young girls want who want to get famous get groomed. I agree with that completely. Um, he deleted his social media after this live. Interesting. If they investigate him, I'm sure they will dig up dirt. I think that's what he's nervous about, so he deleted his social media. Okay, that is kind of weird. Um, I mean, he could get in trouble because you're not supposed to date in the workplace type thing. Yeah, it could be that. Uh, there isn't enough info to say that she's being abused, really. I hate that, but again, devil's advocate. I'm kind of there, too. I'm in between. Like, I can... There's nothing... Okay, if she were 17 years old or anything under 18, or even if she was 18, I would be weird, but she's 23 years old, and Holly's right, like, he could have just been worried about the professional s side of it and not, like, getting caught for, like, pedophilia or something, because they're both adults, but at the same time, it feels very creepy, and if this isn't her, and she doesn't act like that normally, and that's kind of weird that right after she posts that he deletes his his uh, social media that's kind of weird oh, I'm falling asleep my meds are kicking in oh, well I'm going to follow it more tomorrow and, and I'll let you know my opinion because I like to go and watch her and watch as much as I can to get to like read people's faces and personalities and stuff I'm really good at that I'll let you guys know after I do that. Lena Marie Johnson. Okay. Oh, interesting, Carrie. She asked, where is she in the video? Like a woman was supposed to be there. Yeah, that is weird. This is weird. When she posted back up after the cops left, where was her producer then? Yeah, this is kind of fishy. I see it now. Why did I eat an apple instead of a banana? Because I'm not a serial killer. You have some of the weirdest questions. Um... Thanks for informing me. I'm going to go watch more and fall asleep to it, probably. Um, I'm so tired. Sorry, I can't think. My meds are kicking in. I need to go to bed. What the heck? That's weird. Yeah, I'm totally going to go look into this more. I love following stuff like this. So we'll talk more about it tomorrow. So everybody come back. I'm live here every night now for a while. And um, it's fun. I love getting to know people. Oh, because of Paul's, Paul's butt wipe. I was like, oh. 
get it. Ew, now I can never eat a banana again. Amy thinks a lot. Gross. Anyway, um, I'm so tired. Um, yeah, I'm just loving getting to know a lot of you on, on YouTube that can't ever be on Instagram. It's so nice to get to know more people. So keep coming back every day. And this is usually around when I would go live, but I might try it earlier. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, I love you guys so much. Thanks for hanging out. Remember forever and always that you're beautiful, you're worth it, and I am too. I love you guys. Good night.